Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name's Tiffany as you can tell by the title I am going to Disneyland Paris I'm so excited so if you want to catch up with me, pack with me and everything in between then keep on watching and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel so you can see more from me and check out my socials and let's get right into this so I am so excited it's currently 8pm and I am leaving tomorrow morning but yet yeah, exactly 12 hours i'm leaving in 12 hours we're going to disneyland paris i'm going to see their 30th anniversary celebrations and i'm taking one of the last eurostar trains that are going directly from st pancras in london all the way straight directly into disneyland paris so without further ado let's get into this i haven't done a pack with me before so sorry if it's a bit chaotic but i'm gonna take you along and show you the outfits i'm gonna wear too I did a Shein order and thank God it literally arrived today, literally, because I'm going tomorrow, so so happy it arrived. But yeah, let's get packing. The suitcase that I wanted, I can't find, as so my dad's fixing my other one at the moment for me, so fingers crossed it works because the wheels on it just haven't been working. And also, check out my Tiana ears. So I saw these um, when I was in Orlando, but they were like $45. It was the last day of my trip and I was like, I cannot $45 um, afford you right now. But then I came home and then I shop this in the UK for £17.50. So absolute bargain. Absolutely love these. Um, yeah, I'll tell you a bit about the trip while I'm packing and things. But let's get the outfits together. So I'm leaving tomorrow. I still don't know what I'm going to wear. But I'll probably figure that out along the way. But I'll show you my first outfit that I want to change into when I get into the park. Here's the pile of all the clothes. I literally just ripped them all out of the she in bags everything looks so cute and let me show you my lounge flies too look at my lounge fly oh my gosh so delicious and red hold on let me put the camera on the tripod look absolutely stunning my first ever lounge fly Oh, there's a second one in here as well actually i'll show that in a sec Oof. i know it's a christmasy one with the snowflake but i will be using this 100 percent looks so cute i wonder if my ipad can fit in here i don't think it can but this will go in my suitcase nicely it feels so good i just love all the details very cute so here's the first lounge fly and then I'll show you my second one. I've been having I've had these in my basket on a geek core for ages, but they have an extra 15% off sale and I couldn't resist. So here they are. And this one. I love this sequin detail and I feel like with the black I can wear it with more things. But ooh. Rip that off. stuffed nicely this bow is a bit wonky oh okay i won't let that annoy me anyway that's my lounge flies let's get into the outfits my first outfit i when i arrived there i've paid like this 19 pounds thing so that i can arrive at the station in disneyland give them my suitcase and go straight into the park and they'll like check me in and take my suitcase to the hotel so i've wanted to change into this maybe like on the Eurostar um so that I'm comfy not in my travel clothes and got something to wear cute I don't know either that I'm still debating I'm going by myself by the way I don't know if I mentioned that it's my first ever like a solo trip so I'm really trying to like plan everything exactly how I want to do it I don't have to consider anybody else I can do exactly what I want to do and I don't have to feel like I'm annoying somebody from like can I do this can I do that can I change a million times I could do anything I want so with them taking my luggage and stuff, that's great and all, but I did want to change when I arrived. However, I feel like maybe I'll just stay in my travel clothes and just walk around, just like get a vibe, see what the park is like, and then um, then change. I need to double check what time I'm going to arrive, actually. So I just double checked. I arrive at 1.55, so I might just arrive, let them take my luggage, wander around the park a bit grab something to nibble on just 
sort of see what the scene is like, see how busy it is, sort of gauge everything and then go back and change, get comfortable, maybe even have a cheeky nap. I don't know how tired I may feel and then change, get comfortable. So let me show you outfit number one. Okay, so outfit number one is this cute little shirt dress. It's got heart buttons. I don't know if it shows it, but the buttons are heart shaped, which is super cute. I might wear a different necklace probably, but I wear it with my purple Air Forces to match and cute frilly white socks. I do want to get a better ears to match. Um, the Halle Bailey ones, if they've got them now, I'm going to get them because I've not seen them yet um, in person, but I feel like the purple would go better. And debating which lounge fly, I think red is a bit much. Maybe the black, the black one a bit more subtle, but yeah. Outfit number one, and I feel like this is nice and airy. Um, I'll probably wear cycling shorts underneath just to save me from the wind and thigh, thigh chafing is that what it's called but yeah I love this shirt dress let me get the next outfits so this will be the evening because I'll wear this like um once I've like toured around yeah so game plan I'm sort of working out the plan in my head while doing this as well so I think I'll arrive leave my suitcase let them check it in and stuff walk around the park grab something to nibble just sort of see what the scene is, then come back, change into this, and if it's chill, try and do some rides, then take some cute pictures, and then come back and rest, and then go back out for fireworks. So, outfit for fireworks. Let's get that on. Outfit for fireworks. Don't know if you can see the end of the dress. It just goes slightly over my knees, um, so it's slightly warmer, um, slightly longer than the other one. I want to be a bit cosier. Um, I probably won't need my whole giant lounge fly at this time in the evening, but if I do, I'll carry this one. If not, if I want a little bag. I don't know if the polka dots are literally a bit too much, but I'm at Disney. I don't think there's so much, such thing as too much or too many polka dots. But this black dress, my Minnie Mouse vibes. Oh well, yeah, I forgot to say, I want to be doing like princessy, cute, dressy sort of vibes, rather than like spirit jerseys and stuff this trip. So yeah. Um, the last outfit was purple, sort of rapunzel -y. Um This is obviously Minnie Mouse. And yeah, the polka dots are again heart, little heart shapes. And here's a close-up of the Kate Spade bag. It's so cute. I got it when I was in Orlando. It's got a shoulder strap as well, but I like to hold it like this sometimes. Yeah, and it's quite spacious. It fits my phone, my portable charger, fits most things most essentials anyway yeah just realized i've got the dress on backwards <laughs> right let's switch that round okay that's better wow i did not realize i had that on backwards the whole time however i did like the little dip that it made but yeah i thought this would be cozy for fireworks if it does get a bit chilly i can throw a denim jacket on top but if not i thought this would be cute right day one outfit now yeah day one out of it okay so my full day um sunday i'm doing princess tiana vibes i love anything like this sage green color and this oh gosh sorry perfume fell down this dress is a bit longer than the midi dress as well it's not down to the floor i wonder if i can tiptoe and you can see it's not down to the floor but it does have a bit of length on it and the shoes I'm wearing my sage green air force ones i love sticking to a color as you can see so yeah my tiana bounding i think it's one of my favorite outfits i love these ears um i do have a second pair of tiana ears but i think i'm gonna wear them in another outfit but yes here's this one this is one of my favorites again i'll wear just like quite cute like, white little frilly socks with this and I like because it's longer I don't have to worry about the wind blowing this all the way up but yeah by the time I edit it if I have worn all these outfits I will insert like pictures of how I looked so it can be like a full circle moment I don't know what bag yet that I would wear with this I have to oh maybe oh, I don't know and I really need to figure out what bag maybe my white coach backpack Sadly, I only have two lounge flies, <laughs> so they will not go over everything, but I think maybe my little white coach backpack would look cute 
with this outfit. Outfit for Sunday evening for fireworks and things. This cute little brown, actually no, it's a black dress, but it's got brown and like dusty pink, like floral details. I really love how this looks. And then my gold mini ears that I got at Epcot. They go so cute together. Again, I don't know what bag. I feel like red lounge fly might be a bit much, but yeah. I feel like I don't, yeah. Or maybe my mini polka dot. I wonder how my mini polka dot looks. Yeah, actually because it's the evening as well, I don't want to be carrying loads of stuff. I just want to enjoy the fireworks. So yeah, I think mini polka dot will come out again. And then I was realizing, or I realized, I don't really have black trainers, just lots of different styles of black vans. So I think I'll wear black slip on vans with this. But yeah, I, I think it's one of my favorite dresses. I just love this and I can't wait to like reuse it for work and stuff um, but yeah this is my last evening outfit and then the next outfit is for the day for my last day <gasps> this is the one where I don't fully know what I'm wearing yet so I got a skirt from Shein I tried it on it's really lovely it's like a wraparound skirt I'll just show you how the skirt fits and the ears that I know I want to wear <laughs> which are my other princess tiana is these i also got for a steal on shop disney outlet i think they were like a tenner or something oh, i can't remember the price if i remember it or if i find out when i'm editing i'll insert it here but they were such a steal i know i want to wear these this wrap around skirt i don't know if i'm if i should do like t-shirt vibes or just be casual or wear a blouse but yeah i'm just I'm not gonna wear it with this top obviously but I just want to show you how the skirt looks it's a really lovely wraparound skirt so yeah I'm still debating what top whether I should do like a crop top or a blouse or I'm still figuring it out but we've got to figure it out ASAP because it's now 8 30 after doing all this try on and yeah let's start packing gotta check if dad's actually fixed my suitcase and then start to pack everything I'm getting nervous, getting excited. Um, yeah, traveling by myself. I've flown by myself. I'm taking Eurostar stuff by myself. I've always met somebody on the other end. So it's a bit scary, but I'm glad if I'm doing a solo trip at somewhere like Disney where I'm not worried about my safety. Like I'm staying in the Disney bubble. I'm staying in Hotel Santa Fe. It's their um, budget like hotel, it's the Cars one. And mate, even though it's their budget one, because I booked this holiday like five minutes ago, it was so expensive. And plus, when you're only like one person, sorry, Momo's playing with a hairband in the background if you can hear the crash bang. Um, but yeah, when it's only one person, it's literally like only a hundred pounds cheaper than two people. So yeah, but anyway, let's, oh, let's get ready. I do love trying on all my outfits. I'm gonna lay them all flat and like plan all the jewelry I wanna wear with everything as well, shoes, and then figure out what I wanna wear with that last outfit. Oh my gosh, I'm getting really nervous. I'm nervous, excited. I don't know how to feel. Ooh. We got a suitcase down. Oh my goodness, it was a nightmare to get a suitcase. I've, we've got so many massive ones from doing like usually like two week trips and then I've got tiny ones for when I do like one night away but we don't really have many in between size luggage so long story short I'm taking a massive one I overpack anyway so it should be fine so I get in my bits out and of course Momo is here to investigate so I've got my packing cubes my toiletry bag still got stuff in from my trip to Paris a few weeks ago and yeah I'm gonna start to Get everything together and lay out the outfits with my jewelry as well so i can just properly envision everything i got these bags from Shein, which i like to put shoes in because i hate just throwing shoes in luggage as well so yeah let's get started first packing cube done underwear socks cycling shorts to wear under my dresses and vests okay now just everything else okay outfit number one here's a better look at that shirt dress and the cute little heart buttons because I didn't have time to wash everything, I've just sprayed it all before I started packing with Fabulosa spray because I hate not washing clothes when I've just bought them. But yes, I'm gonna grab oh Momo. 
yeah <laughs> i have to pack my lint roll because this is how all my clothes end up covered in cat fur i'm gonna pack earrings and jewelry as well for each outfit or for everything in here um but put it away while i'm packing the outfits so i know everything is complete for the outfit um excuse me please momo i think with this it'll be the vivian westwood necklace and this lounge fly and then my purple Air Forces. Let me get them in the shoe bag. These are one of my most comfortable pairs of shoes. I wonder if both will fit in the one shoe bag. Put it the other way. Perfect. And then you can just tighten it up like that. Cracking. So, that's it. Number one. Earrings. Here they are. But I've got a pearl one. Um, with a gold outline, but I'm trying to remember where I put them because that would be nice with this. They look really cute with this necklace. Here they are so cute. Absolutely love these. Okay, I think that is definitely outfit one complete. And I've already packed my socks in the underwear luggage cube. I've got these luggage cubes from Amazon, however, the exact ones are on Shein for like half the price. So, yeah, I do want more of them actually. A few rings for the day as well. I bring my Pandora princess ring. Does it focus? There we go. I'll slot that here. And my Thanos um, Avengers ring with all the infinity stones on. I love this. These are both from Pandora. So cute. These are what we've got so far. I'm debating whether to pack stuff inside the lounge flies or just shove the lounge flies in the bag empty because that suitcase is so massive i don't really need to pack anything in the lounge flies i feel like i can do that on the way back if i end up buying like loads of merch and need space but for now i'll just put the clothes in a packing cube shoes are the first thing in the doritos and grasp on camera how massive this um suitcase is but it's actually huge actually i need to put my air tag in there as well i might hide it inside the next pair of shoes that i put in and give my brother back his air tag that's a christmas present i think i underestimated how chunky lounge flies are um because it's literally filling up like a quarter of the suitcase so actually i think i will stuff it with things but for now i'll just assemble all my outfits and decide how to pack it up day two daytime this is the dress you can see the full length of it now i absolutely love this and my beautiful tian ears my white coach backpack i think i'll just bring this along do i need a different backpack for every day no but am i being extra for my first ever trip to disneyland paris absolutely and then to be honest i think this same jewelry goes quite well but i will bring the gold chain just in case to see so i can compare both when i actually try it on this jewelry box was also from shein i got this in december for my holiday to florida air force one shadow i think these ones are called and this sage green another favorite pair of shoes that i own and it's so comfortable the air force ones aren't like the normal ones i feel like they're just extra comfortable so yeah another shoe bag i'll stuff this in outfit i forgot to do the evening one um for day one this one i just love the mini mouse vibes Oh my gosh, actually I'm going to have to stuff the lounge fly with things if I'm packing two of them with me. But the white bag does look good with it. The white bag does look good, but I want to be over the top. So, red lounge fly it is. And then I think I'll just wear the gold chain with this. And then, what earrings? Ooh, I think my pearl hoops. These ones. With the pearl. That way I can still have a bit of the... I'm really going for like pearl vibes all the time at the moment. It's like a phase I'm going through. <laughs> so yeah, I think these. These are in my ear right now, so <laughs> I won't pack those. After looking, I think I might go for my silver necklace instead for this one. Since the lounge fly has silver hardware. Maybe this. I got this from Primark in lockdown. In the hopes that I'd be wearing it at Disney at some point. Did it come with matching earrings? I actually can't remember. I need to have a look, but yeah. Gonna wear this instead. Just remembered I've got these black heart earrings. I think these will go nicely. Maybe it's too much, I'm not sure. I'll pack them just in case. I like to have options. Packed my toiletries um, toothbrush, cotton pads, shower gel, deodorant, all that kind of stuff. 
this wash bag we also got from Shein back um, around Christmas time. I like it because it's hanging and yeah it literally fits like everything. It's got multiple like sections to store stuff. So you've got this front pocket, this pocket, that pocket and in there there's like a little divider as well. So yeah, like this. Okay, next outfit. Okay, my dress for the evening um, of the full day that I'm there. Again, I think the jewellery I've packed already. I can use my gold chain with this. And I think in the white backpack as well, actually. I'm going to pack a denim jacket as well, just in case it does get a bit um, chilly. I mean, I've looked at the weather, it does look good, but just in case, by the time the fireworks come at 11, in case it's a bit cold. Yeah, with the denim jacket, I think it looks cute. Try to decide what to wear with that green skirt. Still wasn't happy with that outfit, so I decided to change it to this cardigan instead. But now I like it. Um, just don't mind Momo in the background. I think this white bag again, and the jewelry I've already packed. Oh, I added some Vivian Westwood earrings and a couple of other rings too. I think all those will suit this. Now I need to decide what I'm travelling in. I think it's just going to be leggings and a baggy t-shirt. Um, <laughs> here are all the clothes rolled up nice in the packing cube and then I've got all my ears I think I might assemble these a bit differently but I've got my four ears that I'm taking with me in here Momo. <laughs> still attacking that piece of foam but yeah now I think it's just extras like things like straighteners um my tripod and I'm gonna pack my steamer because I don't know if there'll be an iron and I don't want to have to go and ask for it when I can just actually just pack my steamer with me so yeah I'm gonna pack that now. pack some extra spare bits like an extra pair of leggings a couple t-shirts a cardigan just in case it gets a bit chilly or if I want to just throw in a baggy t-shirt like when I go to get breakfast or something depending on my mood nearly done got some Milko wipes always like to have some wipes with me just in case I feel like the space I'm in isn't clean or if I want to clean after myself and yeah I can't believe the suitcase I usually use for a two-week holiday I've actually filled for two nights <laughs> I'm wondering how to put my ears that I don't squash them I really don't know how to put them in there maybe I will put them like on top here above the lounge flies like sideways or something like this, I don't know. Yeah, maybe like that actually. Okay, suitcase done. Just gonna need to put my straighteners in, but I think I'll do that in the morning after I sort my hair out. And then I'm just taking my tote bag. I was gonna take the medium sized one, but I think I'll take the larger so I've got space to shove like my bottle of water and all that kind of stuff in. I need to pack my passport, my purse, iPad, electronics, all that kind of stuff. And then I'm done. And I'll see you in. Disney! So it's a few days later now, I just got back from my most amazing trip, so if you want to see what I got up to, subscribe to my channel so you can see more from me, check out my socials, and hopefully I will see you in the next one and my Disney vlogs. Thanks so much, bye!